So the last time we were in here, right, you were trying to continue raising funds for the movie Dwayne. So a lot of people might have missed out on this because, you know, it was carnival time. Everybody right. was, you know, in Trinbago. And so talk about the, the movie again, Dwayne, that you're trying to put together for me, Alicia. Yes. So Dwen actually, it's Dwen too, because I, I um, directed a Dwen uh, in 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's about uh, the folklore, related to the folklore of the Dwen, which mm-hmm. were said to be little children who were kind of like creatures or spirits of children who had died right. when they were young. Mm-hmm. And um, in order to keep, because I'm, I'm a writer and director, and I'm also a panel judge when it comes to direct uh, um, uh, judging movies for film festivals and things like that, or even art um, grants, and mm-hmm. I have not ever seen anything based on the Caribbean. So I wanted to really create a story, of course, because my culture, I'm a first-generation um, American, my fa- both my parents are from Trinidad, mm-hmm. and I wanted to expand uh, a story of the Caribbean onto the American film circuit, so I'm excited to... To work on it, right? So, Alicia, why, why, Dwayne? Why you want to get into the mystique of Caribbean, you know, mystical culture? Why, Dwayne? Um, so, Dwayne, I was having a conversation with my father about this, but when I was younger, my brothers and I, my my father used to. He's a, first of all, he's an amazing storyteller, a okay. musician, an artist in general. But mm-hmm. he um, used to tell us the stories about the different folklores in Trinidad. And the one story, I mean, Sukunya was scary to me too, but Dwen, mm-hmm. I think because I'm a kid and I'm thinking about little kids who's running around in the forest um, or when you're outside at night, that it scared me, you know. So I, it's a story that always stuck with me. Mm-hmm. And I remember the night he told me the story, I couldn't sleep. I mean, but in a way it was kind of fascinating, but at the same time it was uh, horrific. And um, But then also he would share, both my parents would share the stories of them. This upbringing, growing up and what it was like, um, the, tr- the trials and triumphs of, and traumas, honestly, of their childhood. Um, so not only do I do horror or work on horror and write, but I also direct documentary. So I, it's like a recent realization that these stories of documentary, of true stories, and then the horror stories come from my experience of the, of the stories that I heard from my parents as a kid. Um, but the Dwen was really that story that scared me the most, and that's how I decided I want to do it. And I wrote a feature fil- um, script, so after I did the 2021, the short story, mm-hmm. um, I decided to go back and write a feature with a program, a lab that I was in, last year and so i'm doing the horror now short as a proof of concept for the feature film right 